Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Satisfactory, where in the previous episode we completed the hub. We've got through all of that research and now we're on to researching just uh, individual stuff in the higher tiers. Currently we're going to be working on logistics because that is all I want in life from this game is splitters and mergers. Because I feel like until you get to that you're severely limited in what you can do. As soon as you can split and merge your belts you can make your factory so much more complicated and this is all basically just a temporary structure to give me the stuff I need to get that. Because once we have that everything changes uh, as far as I'm concerned. I notice there's nothing coming out of there. Oh no, there is! It's just that the plates are flat, so you can't see them unless you're uh, actually looking down from above. But yeah, let's check what we have in here, because we might be able to get a lot of the uh, the stuff done pretty quickly. Like, we need 200 iron plates, we can just fulfill that immediately. Uh, the wire might take a little bit more time, but the problem we have is the iron rods, because we've only got 80 of them in here and 80 of them in my inventory. We are short. And uh, we're at our power limit, so we need to increase our power limit. We need to build our, our first biomass burner, so I believe we have those now. Let's find them. Power, biomass burner, and that's apparently new as well. I, I've definitely been building these already. Oh, there we go, that's what this is, because I kept spotting this plus sign. I kept forgetting about it, but it is a, it's on the to-do list. It's how you do that. I see the use of the to-do list, but I think I'm used to not having that sort of thing in factory games, so I'll probably just leave it. Definitely helpful if you're uh, if you're ending a particular play session, though. You can just uh, put a bunch of stuff on the to-do list, and uh, presumably it'll stay for next time. Anyway, yes, biomass burner. Let's make one. We just need the one, and that's going to make all the difference we we need. Let's have a look at it. So yeah, here's the uh, the front of it where the biomass stuff all happens. So let's spin it round and have that viewed. Actually, it's sort of on a, on an off kilter thing. Let's have it like that. That seems like it works. Uh, let's make sure this is lined up. That looks right. We don't line it up with anything over there. Let's just freehand it here. See if we can make it work. But I also want to line it up with the hub, and I realize that's difficult when you're freehanding. There. That'll do. Yeah, that's close enough. And it's got a ladder on it as well. So we can just go up onto the top here. This seems like maybe a weird place to stand. Actually, no, it's just a sealed top. You can just uh, stand here. I was thinking maybe you'd get... Lots of gas flowing out of it at you or something. Alright, there we go, and we've got... Uh, oh, there's, there's the big switch. I do like the big switch. Not that I can operate it here. Uh, let's connect this up to our power line. We Oh, we're out of space on this because we've got this branching in two directions. Ah. Right, well, what we can do with that is we can build a power pole here. Then, we want to... I was going to disconnect that, but that's going to cause problems. But also, it's the only thing I can do, so... And in a second, there it goes. Yeah, I want to connect this to the power pole, this to the power pole, and then this can take the new fourth connection on that. And that's how we can extend this along. There we go. And uh, if I can just get chunk. Oh. There we go, it's working. For a second, it sounded like it broke again. All right, back to burning through the biofuel. It looks like we need to top these up a fair bit. In fact, yeah, we need to go retrieve some more biofuel from, uh, from our storage. Let's do that. Put the leaves away for now. We don't yet need to go on a... Oh, actually... Yeah, we do. We're out of biomass. I was about to say we don't need to go on another spree of making biofuel, but apparently we do. So never mind. I'll have to automate this at some point. Uh, and I do believe that later on we unlock a, a better biofuel. I think I spotted that last episode, maybe. So we should definitely see if we can work towards that. But for now, let's just put together what we can to make sure the system keeps running. We're actually... Not doing so great. There we go. We can fully stock that one, and then we've got enough left to mostly stock that one. Now our capacity is much higher than before, so we can get a lot more things running, at least while the biofuel holds out. Yeah, we'll have to uh, get the more efficient biofuel stuff researched sooner rather than later. Right, this means that we can switch everything back on. Did I shut this down before? Yep, okay. Switching that back on. Over to the smelter. Switching that back on. And over to the constructor. Switching that back on. There we go. The whole system is running again. We have everything being produced, including iron rods. Now let's see how we're doing for copper wire. Uh, oh, looks like we have enough between what's in here and what I'm holding. Oh, it <laughs> and I just spotted how the feet work while you're on a ladder. I'm sure they'll uh, they'll work on that. Also, we can just go up to the top here and observe our creation. 
There is a lookout tower you can build, but at this rate I'm not going to need the thing. Okay, can I get back down this without falling? Oh, no, I've fallen. Ow. That was only one square of damage. Not too bad. Uh, so, 50 wire in there. Now it's just the pipes that are the problem. I keep calling them pipes. They are not pipes. They are iron rods. Are they arriving yet? Yeah, just, they've just started arriving. Could take a little bit of time to do that. Is there anything else we can get on in the meantime? We're now much less limited in terms of power. So that's something to bear in mind. But we can't split things. So all of our conveyor belts are running into a machine and doing something. So what can you do? This isn't moving very much. I've got to assume that the uh, the mining and smelting rates might be different. Let me go check on what this one is. This is 30 per minute. And the usage of this is 30 per minute. So it's actually perfectly balanced here. There's no reason to split stuff at this level. But we know that there is here. Because this uh, consumes 15 per minute. So we could be making twice as many iron rods. Though really, I want to put it into making more plates. Yeah, yeah, this consumes 30 per minute. So this is balanced here. This is not. So that's what we want to split. As for this one, uh, producing 30 per minute and only using 15. So yeah, we could split this and ma be making twice the uh, copper wire as well. Meanwhile, over here... Oh, 45 per minute. That's an awkward ratio. So what we'd bring in... Uh, like, if we had three deposits bringing in stone, then we could have two machines using it up, and that would be uh, the correct ratio. So it's, it's fairly simple as ratios go. But there's most of we want to do with these. These are just the basic components. We want to be automating the making of uh, screws, of reinforced iron plates, of cables. So we got to work out all that stuff. Right now, this is just a basic thing. I want to go out into this area and build a larger scale thing and really get the use of all that iron stuff over there. Right, let's see. Is it, how's this doing now? Uh, oh, we're close. We just need 10 more. You know what? I'm just going to go make the stuff myself because I probably can. Sorted. Right. And put in... Oh! Oh! There's a there's a big red launch button. I approve of big red launch buttons. Nice. And does that set this thing off? Milestone reached. Oh yep. Can nope, I shouldn't stand under that. To increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory, the productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Out of it goes into space. It's a very Uncontrolled flight, I feel like. I still see it. I still see it. I still see it. Is it gonna come back? I still can just about see it up there. I wanna see what happens if I just keep staring at it. I can just see little individual pixels flickering. You probably can't see this, I'll be honest. Oh, it's gone. Damn it. I was hoping it would, like, come back down. Now what? Is it going to return? Do we have to order the next milestone? We might have to order the next milestone. Let's see. Oh, it says the pod will return in, uh, in two minutes. Okay. I imagine we can select the next milestone anyway, though. Oh, there's the better biofuel. We should maybe go for that quickly. What else do we have? Is there anything urgent? Uh, the assembler would be neat, but splitters first. Well, we have the, I mean, uh, well, we'll get the biofuel first. Let's make sure we can power everything before we go crazy with stuff. Yeah, and when do we get, it says complete space elevator phase one. When does that take place? When are we allowed to build that? I haven't seen a technology that unlocks it. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's do utility so we have the biofuel. And it gives us the lookout tower and a couple of building things as well, so that is neat. Yep, let's do that. And yeah, it requires some more of the, uh, the iron stuff. It's going to take a little bit of time. I wonder, is it appearing in the sky yet? Wow, look look at the colours. That is nice. Proper vivid purple all the way around. They, they, like, if you're going to make an alien planet, might as well give it some alien sunsets. Look at that as well. It's got really nice kind of details to it. I don't know if the YouTube uh, video picks it up, unfortunately. I'm going to gather some more leaves, because clearly we need it right now. 
Also, didn't I set some research going with the, the ma'am? Shouldn't that be done by now? Or did that already happen and I forgot? Could be that. Let's have a wander back over and see what state that machine is in. I, I forgot I can go through here. I don't have to hop over the building. Did this change colour? I feel like this was red before, but maybe I'm just going mad. Right, what are you up to? The analysis of the pale berry is completed. Please choose a new specimen to, on the list to begin analysis. Oh, fair enough. Then you actually have to go to it to do the thing. Uh, Our petals nah. added to object scanner catalog. Right, so now I could scan for them if I had the object scanner. However, I don't, so that's fine. Uh, let's put some petals in there. That's going to take four and a half minutes. And there we go. We'll find out what we can actually do with those. Because I have no idea so far. Okay, uh, let's put the stuff we've gathered in there for now. Unless I've got some ore and stuff on me. I should get rid of that at this stage, really. Yeah, okay. Let's go, like, dump those in machines, maybe. Actually, if the machines are already fully supplied, we shouldn't waste the material in that particular way. So, we have the splitters and things now. Let's take a look at them. They are in logistics. Conveyor splitter, conveyor merger. So, they, they both operate from a, a 1 to 3 system, but you can always... Uh, not use one of them, so you can just split or merge one to two, two to one, etc. So, first thing to do is look at things that aren't uh, smelting at full speed. I think the reason they're not smelting at full speed is because they're not assembling at full speed. Maybe we should just build an entirely new factory at this point, because I know that we're we're going to outgrow this very quickly. We kind of already are, uh, and I did put it all compressed together, which uh, everyone was telling me not to do. I mean, I guess I have plenty of space, but this was sort of like a starting thing. And then I want to build a separate larger thing later once I know what I'm doing a bit better. And I feel like maybe I do now and maybe we should just set up on one end of this and just have stuff running that way. Just get a whole row of smelters. Uh, smelting however much we need to. Hi Ray! Making his, uh, his daily pass. Or nightly pass, I suppose. One day we'll learn how to fly. And we'll fly with you, Ray. But uh, today is not that day. I don't know where that day comes in this alpha at all. Maybe we'll find out. I am hoping to get to the end of the uh, the three tiers in the time that we have, but I don't know like what is and isn't uh, available from that. Also, I wish I had the one that went to six tiers. Damn it. Because apparently some people do. I hope, I hope we at least have vehicles in tiers uh, one to, to three. I need to have s some sort of vehicle just for the, the fun of that. So what I'm thinking is we just line up a bunch of smelters here as step one of our larger scale factory. However, we need iron rods for that, so we're gonna have to go raid our supply. Uh, I just, you just can't quite jump up here because it's on a slope. Okay, yoink. 88 in there, that should keep us going for a little bit. Actually, let's carry on and get the, uh, the wires as well. Yeah, I think we've just gotta like back our way down a ladder. Don't face outwards when going down a ladder. That's what I've learned. Uh, I do have to bear in mind that some of the ore is over there. So, I'm going to have to sort of swing around this way and come back, maybe, depending on how I do things. So, yeah, I'm thinking, Q, smelter, and we just start placing them. We just have, like, six of them in a row, and we see what that gets us. Maybe it's time for a factory floor. What's What structure stuff do we have now? We have foundations and ramps. And some walls, we can begin on that already. Like, let's take a look at this. This takes concrete, and only concrete, apparently, even though it looks like it's a metal covering to it. But yeah, we could just plonk this down and have this be the, the beginning of our actual factory structures. Yeah, let's do it. That's what the game's about. How do we want to line this up? This seems decent enough if I run over here. Rotate it one notch this way, and that might... Uh, work out better for us. And yeah, hopefully we can get the them to, to connect properly and not have issues with the slope of it. I should hope so. Yeah, it immediately locks to that. That's easy. That's nice. Okay, so we can just start doing this. And immediately I'm out of concrete. Let's go get a whole ton of concrete. We haven't raided the concrete supply in a while, so hopefully there's a lot of it. I would imagine so. And grab... Oh yeah, there's a lot. We can build a lot of factory with this. We'll have to or our inventory is going to be too full. Okay. So yeah, there's uh, 
there's a deeper foundation in case that's important. Makes sense. Right now, I think we can just use the shallow stuff. We're not yet uh, close to any sort of slope. So yeah, we got it four wide. Let's just go with that for the moment. Let's get a four by four and see how that looks from uh, from above. And indeed on, on the uh, stuff itself. So here we are. Yeah, let's get up here. We will get the lookout terror once we get that research done. It takes 150 uh, rods though, so I think it's going to take a little bit of time for that to be ready. So that's what we're working with. It's not that much yet. Yeah, we need more. We need to keep expanding this. Might even need to be wider, like up to five. That gives us no room to walk by it though, which is annoying. Right, let's keep this up. Actually, it's better to, I think, approach this from over here to get the, the stuff built. Right, that's a four by six. Let's now build some of the uh, some of the smelters and see how much space they take up. Oh, in fact, walls. We should put some walls in. Let's totally put some walls in. Uh, oh, are they two-sided? Yes, they are. Uh, that's got to be the outside face, right? And this has to be the inside. That just makes sense to me. Uh, we don't have doors yet, I believe, so we'll leave some gaps. But yeah, we'll put them lining the sides. And then that tells us the the space that we can fit the smelters in. Now this takes up a little bit in the way of uh, iron plates. That's something to bear in mind. Uh. Getting to line up is a little bit fiddly at times, but I can't imagine a much better system for doing it. It seems to work fairly well. Uh, production. Smelter. Right, and, uh, oh, and it, they, they lock to the grid. Of course, wonderful. That's nice. Uh, and, yeah, so how much space do they take up? We can have it one away from the edge, basically central in this area. And then let's have it start here, I think. How does it sit this way around? Basically have it kind of overlapping on both ends. That works. And then, how quickly can we build the next one? We can build that there, so we can we can squish them in a fair bit. We can get more than four in place, but not more than five. Five is how many we can fit. That leaves no space to actually walk around in here. Whoops, got that one wrong. No space to actually walk around in here, so that's something to bear in mind. I mean, maybe I should have built these higher up. I This is the thing, I need to start thinking 3D. I've been playing Factorio for so long that I, I just imagine everything on a flat surface, but... I could put these in the air. I could have a walkway going above and put these on that. And then I can walk underneath and get around. I, mean, I guess I can walk between the buildings. It seems like they've deliberately made it so that that can be done. But, like, I don't need this stuff to be on my level. I can stack these on top of each other with some walkways. I've got to start thinking that way. Yeah, this gives us something to get started with. It's only one more smelter than we had over there. Oh, then again, no, we've only got three over there. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Not that we need it, I think, with the copper and iron supply we have from here. It's enough smelters uh, anyway. But yeah, now what I can think about is uh, when we have more supplies. I mean, maybe we hook in, in some of these iron deposits from over here. Let's do that. Let's have a whole bunch of belts. Uh, we're going to need some iron plates. Also, I've got to imagine that by now our research has been done, so we can get the next thing going with that. An alien carapace, maybe. Apparently, analysing it will give us some information on how to defeat them. Right, tell us about the petals. R&D wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things. Dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, Alien Carvers, do we have any honors? No. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to research the barrel nut because I have one in my hand. That's going to take five minutes. All right. As we were. So, bunch of iron plates, please. And, yep, that is a bunch. That'll that'll do. Uh, let's top up on these. Uh, oh, in fact, it looks like we have enough materials now for uh, utility. So we can build ourselves a watchtower. That'll be very nice. Right, here we go. Take all these, take all these, and that. And launch! And I guess at some point this thing came back. 
Yeah, there it is again. And off it goes. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Okay. You can now build the space elevator, oh. which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. Oh, fantastic. We can build that right now, apparently. That's weird, it wasn't on the list. Is it just that you research two things and then it and then it's good? And that means we can get tier three. And then we can see everything that we can unlock, presumably. Um, though I think there might be some research stuff that you can unlock separately too. Oh, look at that. The some of these walls have mounted conveyor holders. That is nice. That's a nice way of getting a very even, nicely put together base. Uh, oh, object scanner berry is a tier one research, and it's literally just some pale berries. That's weird. Do I want to? Do I want to do that? Do, is there any point, really? Uh, okay, let's see what other stuff we have. Uh, oh. Color gun. Right, oh, so we're actually unlocking new technologies in the list from researching items we pick up. Right, so we can make the color gun and color cartridge. If we want to start painting things. Interesting. Right, I get it now. Oh, modular frame. Use for building the hub and presumably maybe other things? And there's the assembler. You know what? We want to get the assembler. Oh, that's a lot of things we need. Oh no. Okay, maybe we hold off on that for a little while. And we maybe get some more inventory slots or something as a as an intermediate thing, something to research with attainable amounts of materials. Or maybe we do conveyor walls, because that will help with our our factory building. Uh, how much is that? 100, 100, 250. It's the same either way. I'm gonna go for that, because there's there's cooler stuff I can build with that. I wanna try out the building like a factory building thing because that's not something you get in Factorio that's entirely new so what new buildings did we unlock let's t look at the the whole list so right so we got ah doors we got doors and uh walls with big open uh gaps in them okay oh hi ray oh, oh of course the lookout tower we got to build one of those how big is it uh oh, not that much actually is it like I feel like it's about the same as our storage tower. Maybe slightly more? Can I build it on top of the, the storage tower is the question. Apparently not. Let's actually go up onto this tower to build the lookout tower. It'll make it easier to see what we're doing. Yes, we can't build it up here. But yeah, we can uh, put it around here. We can look down on the, uh, the miners, that sort of thing. Uh, what do we need for it? We have the stuff. It's just finding a spot we're actually allowed to build the thing in. Uh, building one up there would be nice. I mean, there's, we could just plonk these all up around the place. They'll work as, like, nice uh, location markers as well and stuff like that. They're actually ridiculously cheap. Five rods, five plates. Yeah, sure, I'll stick these everywhere. I do want to... Uh, easy. You can change the direction in the air, that's nice. I want to go over this way a bit. Let's put one on the edge here if we're allowed to. Oh, come on. Can't... The floor is too steep. Okay. One down here. That works. Let's nestle it into the, uh, the stone a smidge. And there we go. Let's climb up it. Where's the ladder? There it is. Alright. Oh, it's like multi-level. I'm a big fan of fancier stuff like this. Oh, can we actually get up to the... Oh, this is just like a sunshade. Oh, okay. Got some lights on it as well. You know, we can stand on here and observe the construction of our factory and, and make plans and, and all that sort of thing. And I've got to put one up on that thing. As well as find out what that thing up on there is. In fact, we can use Lookout Tower to get there, because otherwise I'm not really sure how to scale that, uh, that big chunk of rock. Right, before we go over there, though, let us attempt to descend properly. Nope, that's not properly. Ow. I got back to the ladder just as I hit the ground. Welp. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage to us. Descending ladders is a very difficult skill, and we should all be careful about it. Have we done this yet? Might be too soon. Oh, no, it's done. Analysis of the barrel nut is complete. Barrel nut I want to research the green power slug. 
Got to find a thing. There it is. We got two of them, which is nice. Okay. Uh, power slug. It's going to take seven and a half minutes. Oh, uh, no, that one. Seven and, uh, five minutes, actually. It's the carapace that takes seven and a half. Right. Leave that to its thing. I hear that uh, the slug unlocks some cool stuff. I'm going to grab back out all the wooden stuff that we have. Because I now know that we can make the fancier fuel, and that is probably quite important for us. So, biofuel, yeah, it's literally made of biomass, so we'll just make a bunch of biomass. Or as much as we can. Now well, we can make a, a fair chunk, actually. Alright, and then biofuel takes four of it to make two. So that's good, it, it uh, maybe stacks it more uh, efficiently amongst everything else that it can do. We can convert all of this to biofuel, and then what we'll do is we'll put this in one of the machines, take the biofuel out of that machine. In fact, we should try and maybe do it a little bit better than that. If I split the stack... Uh, like 30... something, and then again... Then we grab that, put that in. Grab that, put that in. Gotta make sure that it's in the middle of uh, using up a piece before... You empty out what it has. Right, and then they all have the better biofuel. How quickly is that used? That's slower. Excellent. I hope it's a lot more efficient. It doesn't really, I think, tell you how uh, the numbers of it change. Like, what does it say? Yeah, it doesn't give any sort of value. As far as I can tell. Right, well now we can turn all of this that we picked up into more biofuel. That said, we don't have that much of it. We're going to have to go gather more things. I want to get coal. I have... I heard now that there is indeed coal, and so I will not stop till I have coal and I don't have to worry about power anymore. Okay, so let's go back over to these, and we didn't get that much more. Really? But let's split it evenly-ish. Oh, gotta get used to how that works. And then just top up all of these. And we'll survive a little bit longer. Uh, and maybe we just go on a, a big leaf gathering mission, uh, or maybe we we build the the space elevator. I mean, how do we do that? Is that on the list now somewhere? Like, I can't scroll on here. Special. There it is. Uh, oh, it requires a lot. 500 concrete, 250 iron plates, 400 iron rods, and 1,500 copper wires. If I click it, yeah, that's large. Yep, that's okay. I can't even see the top of the thing. It doesn't let me see it. I mean, presumably it doesn't have a top. I don't know if it just, like, stretches up to infinity, or whether it builds itself up after I place the thing. Oh, hi, Ray. I'm, I'm sorry, I might block your flight path with my space elevator, and just fly around it. It'll it'll be fine. So, yeah, we want to make that, but it's going to take a little bit of, uh, of time to get there. I want to get a bunch of iron being mined, but also I need coal, and I think to get coal I need the... Uh, the space elevator. Let's go on a leaf gathering mission. We clearly need to do that. Oh, that's not the right buttons at all. There we go. Pick up the leaves. Do the thing. Uh, oh, let's go get a bunch of wood. I believe there's a fair bit over here on the edge of the, uh, the big rocky outcrop we have. Also, I wonder if we can spot the lizard dog around here. I haven't seen him in a while. Is there one that persistently hangs around, or is it just a thing that randomly generates sometimes? That is the question. What is this over here? It's bauxite. Oh, okay. Let's gather this. It's interesting that there's just a few random other materials around the place. It doesn't seem like there's a way to continuously mine them. You just get a, a small amount of them, and that's that. So perhaps it's just used for research or something, or making, like... There might be certain structures that need it, but, like, they're structures you need once, that sort of thing. Right, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be going this way. That was what I said I was going to do. Because I, I remember seeing, on that rocky outcrop over there, a load of uh, wooden branches and stuff climbing up the side of it. And that means there's a bunch of wood to collect, and wood is a better source of uh, biofuel. So, oh, and we should get the chainsaw, because I imagine that really helps with... Uh, with gathering biomass. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. That's probably the, the big thing that makes a difference with power generation. 
Right, so this area here, we can see them sneaking up here, and it looks like... Oh, we can climb this stuff! Oh! Alright then. I'll pick that up later when I've finished climbing here. Uh, how do we get up the rest of it? Is there more? Can I climb these vines? No, maybe... I can poke around and see if I can find more... I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Alright. That was weird and creepy. Why? That was like Ada's voice but messed up and also a message didn't come up. There were no subtitles. Like, it wasn't actually a message. It was just in my head. What are you? Mercer Sphere. Work in progress. Look at it. What is this? I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Ah, gonna. This is a bad idea. I feel this is a really bad idea. I'm gonna take it. All right then. Uh, I'm gonna build a watchtower up here because it's fun. Um, not that it'll, it'll be easy to actually get up to this place. Yeah, let's just build, uh, like, on the edge here, where we found the Mercer Sphere. Uh, there's the ladder. Put it this way. And we can just climb up this and really observe our factory. And I'm gonna fall off this, aren't I, when I'm done. Right, here we are. Look at this! That's a proper view. At least when I get rid of all the HUD elements in my face. There we go. We can keep expanding that out. In fact, in a little bit, we can just have it expand out into a larger structure. Like, at least on this side. Have that happen pretty quick, and then we can... So we can have a smeltery area, and then it all can move out here and expand into a larger area of manufacturing, because manufacturing is going to take up more space, it seems. Also looking over here... Quite some large areas around here as well. Oh, that'd be a perfect ridge to build a watchtower on there, to get a good view over all of that landscape. And look at all this stuff over here. I'm intrigued by all that stuff. We're Those strange balloon things at the top of that waterfall. And that horrible mess of spikes? Don't know what that's about. There's a lot of them, though. There's just lots of weird kind of bridges and stuff over there. And, oh, look at the... Uh, we've got red trees. Interesting. Oh, hi, Ray! That's a weird view of Ray. How are you doing? Are you going to fly through this? Have I... I don't... No, you're going to go past. Wow. We're level with the thing, that's cool. That is very awesome. Well, uh, next episode we'll get down from here, somehow, and we'll try and expand that factory and actually get it running. I ended up not getting that done this episode, because I got distracted by terrifying murder spheres. It really is just following this path. Interesting. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep working on things, we're gonna get some proper biofuel made so that we can have the factory last more than a few more minutes and uh, and then we can power a much larger scale operation. We must continue to expand and, uh, and advance. But with that I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.